those goals that you want, then Boundary Park is the place to be. There hasn't been a goalless draw on this ground for more than four years. All of them have actually scored more home goals in the first division this season than Leeds United, and they're top of the table. Trouble is, they've conceded twice as many. They always give you a chance because they're always prepared to take a chance. Roger Palmer and Kevin Sheedy have taken the chances that have come their way in the first half. Everill. Johnston still retreating. Jobson's free kick for Sharp this time. Rick Holden, blocked by Jackson. Can't save the corner. Both Richard Jobson and Earl Barrett are on the way to give Matthew Jackson and company a little bit more to think about. The Oldham threat very clear from corner kicks. Holden. In towards Fleming this time, good header by Keown. Attacked the ball well. Henry. Keown again for Bud Marshall. Jackson clear. And Andy Barlow all alone. Helps it all the way back to John Horworth. Marshall. Holding. Sharp and Palmer waiting. It's in towards Graham Sharp. Good defending by Annie Hinchcliffe. Free kick given against Graham Sharp. Hinchcliffe just had to curl himself in front of one of the best back post men in the business. And always back Graham Sharp in those situations. Hinchcliffe did really well, particularly well when you consider Sharp was fouling him. by Sheedy, Everill. Boris Johnson is down, injured for the moment. Milligan, rather tentatively to Jobson, and it's stolen away from him by John Everill. And Everill goes tumbling, and the referee waves play off. It was shoulder to shoulder, arm to arm, I think. Six of one, half dozen the other. Jobson caught in possession. Everill just couldn't quite force his way away from him, and down they went. Fleming won the corner Peter Vigri went back with him ten minutes of the second half gone and that's the view from the camera inside the near post the near post that John Everill is guarding he doesn't reach though cleared by Vigri Fleming will take the throw. Looking to wind himself up for a long one. Headed by Keown. Way by Sheedy. Beersley quickly upon Fleming. Sharp with a header down. Everill's there again. Andy Barlow in the way. Stolen back by Maurice Johnston. Robert Varshika on that frozen area in front of the dugouts. Very difficult to pull up over there. And as night falls, this pitch is going to get crisper and harder and more dangerous. Nick Henry's just changing his footwear at the moment. The studs will get shorter as the evening wears on. by Marshall. Keown adjusted well. Everill. Peter Beardsley on his way, but 
Earl Barrett's speed is a very difficult obstacle for a forward to take on. And the cry of you'll never beat Earl Barrett rings in the ears of an older striker. Free kick is Oldham's. Jobson is on the edge of the Everton penalty area. Along with Sharp and Marshall and Fleming and Palmer. It's in towards Jobson and Fleming's there and Neville Southall, rather unconventionally, makes a very good clearance. Earl Barrett. Craig Fleming onside, Southall committed. Fleming's got it past him. Palmer waiting, Jackson did well away by CD, broke off Henry and Oldham couldn't make any of it all sorts of shouts and appeals in the midst of that melee but Everton survived it they had their goalkeeper out of service there for a moment but the pack gathered around him and they got bodies in front of the wall Southall was out of it there for a second or two Maybe a hint of handball against Jackson, but only a hint. Sharp for Holden. Blocked by Varshika, and Oldham have another corner. And growing pressure in the opening quarter of an hour of this second half. That's the view on the front line. by Fleming, turned away by Watson. Beat refining Beardsley. Looking early, I think more for Varshika than Johnson down the middle. An Oldham charge gathering here. They have a throw in. And they have the momentum. Beatry doing well. Fleming, though. Sharp. Marshall. John Everill has been a, a buffer for his back four. He's taken pressure off them time and time again by seizing on possession on the edge of his own penalty area like that. Pat Nevin ready to be introduced. Barshika, only for Barlow. Milligan has made a forward run. This is Rick Holden. Sheedy there, denied by Sharp, and Holden has another opportunity. And Holden have another corner. An hour gone, and a key period in the game. Probably the best concerted spell that Oldham have had at any time. Rick Holden again. Good header by Dave Watson. Milligan to Palmer. Still dangerous. Barrett Marshall! Well, it finished in the net. But in the netting on the top of the goal. Everton didn't push out there. All those players were onside. On by first Palmer and then Marshall, just couldn't quite adjust. Robert Varshika is replaced by Pat Nevin, who has not figured for Everton for six weeks. He had a transfer request in October, but his balance, low centre of gravity and his trickery will be a factor on this deteriorating surface. Marshall. Here goes Fleming again. And across comes Keogh and wants more. Oldham turning the screws. John Everett's there. Broke off sharp. Rather fortunately for Everton. Could have gone anywhere that. Sheedy, he knew where that was going. Maurice Johnson trying to get there. 
Johnson only as far as Nevin, his first touch. Oldham retreating. Peter Beagrick. In towards Nevin again. Couldn't direct the header as he wanted. It was just a touch behind him. And he couldn't twist his head to move it in the direction of the goal. A touch of handball there about Barrett's interception. Got away with it, and all of them have the throw in. Everyone lost it to Palmer. Holden. Barlow's on his way down the left-hand side. Here is Andy Barlow. Throw in his Oldham Athletics. Sharp. Holden. Tossed up towards Palmer again, but Southall laying claim. Roger Palmer ostensibly playing as a, a midfield player on the right-hand side, but that's only a base for him, really. He does his, his best work in there. Richard Johnson with a free kick. Milligan trying his luck! He's uh, not one of the country's most prolific goal scorers, but he caught that beautifully. 